A new treatment is giving hope to people with a rare form of blood cancer. Dr. Nina Shah is here with patient Cecilia Romanowski to tell us more about it. Welcome. Hi. Dr. Shah, I want to start with you. Uh, just tell us more about what multiple myeloma is. Yeah, multiple myeloma is a blood cancer, a cancer of the blood cells. And uh, I should note that I'm a specialist in multiple myeloma. I'm not at all being paid by Bristol Myers Squibb for the interview. Rather, I want to raise awareness of this incurable disease and this new treatment, Abecma. So patients have to go from treatment to treatment, but they can live around 10 years uh, with this cancer. Again, being on treatment for most of that time. Oh, that is great news. Um, now, Cecilia, just Tell us what the biggest challenges that you are facing. Um, because it is a marathon of treatments, I would say the biggest um, challenges would be all the information that you have going on. You're raising your family. There's a ton of information about you're curious about the next treatment and what's on board. So, um, yeah, it was really helpful to have my doctors just feed me the information instead of all the family members. And then a good resource um, that I found was a Beckma.com and it's just all lined up very perfectly and very informative. Um, that was a great resource for me being overwhelmed with all the information. Resources are so important. What is the best part of this new treatment option? Um, Abecma is a one-time infusion, so that was very different and awesome because the other ones, it's like she said, a, a marathon of treatment. So to have a treatment that is just a one-time infusion, it was awesome. Well, we do wish you the best. Absolutely, we do. And we want to know where we can go for more information just so that we can learn more. Um, Abecma.com is a great resource for family, friends, for yourself very concise. It's, yeah, and ask, your, of course, your doctor. All right. Thank you both so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.